Get ready to explore the United Kingdom in a way you've never seen before. From the iconic cityscapes of London to the wild Scottish Highlands, each destination reveals a new piece of Britain's heart, history, culture, and breathtaking landscapes at every turn. This journey through the UK promises unforgettable sights and stories you won't want to miss. And stay with us to the very end, where an unexpected, forgotten realm awaits. A place where ancient legends stir, and the lines between history and mystery blur. Welcome to London, the beating heart of the United Kingdom. Here, the past and present stand shoulder to shoulder, creating a city that's ever-evolving yet steeped in history. Let's start with a stroll through Westminster. The iconic silhouette of Big Ben rises proudly over the city, a timeless symbol of London's majesty. Right beside it, the grand Gothic towers of Westminster Abbey, where monarchs have been crowned for over a thousand years, stand as testament to Britain's royal legacy. The River Thames flows through the center, an ancient artery linking the city's most famous sites. Take a riverboat cruise and watch the landmarks unfold. The stately Tower of London, once a fortress and prison, and the striking Tower Bridge, its twin bascules gracefully lifting to let ships pass. Step inside the British Museum, where millennia of history come to life. From the Rosetta Stone to Egyptian mummies, this remarkable collection is a journey across civilizations, all gathered under one grand roof. Next, we dive into the vibrant streets of Covent Garden. This lively marketplace pulses with street performers, quirky boutiques, and an endless array of cafes and restaurants. Not far away, Soho buzzes with creativity. A hub for theatergoers, artists, and musicians with its colorful mix of bars, shops, and nightlife. For a breath of fresh air, head to Hyde Park. London's green oasis invites us to relax by the Serpentine Lake. Watch rowboats drift by and admire the iconic statue of Peter Pan. It's a peaceful escape within the city, where locals and visitors alike find a moment of calm. No visit to London would be complete without witnessing the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. This regal display of pageantry and precision, a sight steeped in tradition, draws crowds who gather to catch a glimpse of British heritage. Just a short journey outside London, we find the academic grandeur of Oxford and Cambridge. These historic university towns offer a look into Britain's intellectual legacy. In Oxford, we walk among storied colleges with ancient libraries and cobbled lanes. While in Cambridge, we glide along the River Cam in a traditional punt, passing Gothic spires and lush green lawns. Both cities are steeped in centuries of scholarly tradition and charm. And for a touch of botanical beauty, venture to Kew Gardens. Here, a world of flora awaits, towering palm trees in the Victorian palm house, 
rare species in the temperate house, and a canopy walkway offering views from above. Kew is more than just a garden. It's a journey into the wonders of the plant world. In London and beyond, every corner holds a story and every street invites exploration. This city, in all its grandeur and charm, is where history, culture, and life blend seamlessly into a truly unforgettable experience. Leaving behind the bustling streets of London, we journey north to the tranquility of the English countryside, where nature takes center stage. Here, the Lake District and the Peak District invite us into a world of rolling hills, shimmering lakes, and open skies, a complete contrast to the metropolitan pace of the city. In the Lake District, England's largest national park, we find a landscape that has inspired poets, writers, and travelers for centuries. Glassy lakes mirror the sky, while green hills and mountain peaks rise in every direction. Lake Windermere, the largest natural lake in England, stretches out like a sheet of silver, inviting us to drift along its calm waters by boat. And for those who prefer to wander on foot, endless trails wind around the fells, each offering sweeping views over valleys and villages below. This is also the land of Scafell Pike, England's highest peak. Climbing its rocky trails is a true adventure, with panoramic vistas from the summit that make every step worthwhile. Here, nature is both serene and dramatic, where landscapes shift from gentle lakeshores to craggy heights. Just a little farther south lies the Peak District, a landscape of rugged hills, winding rivers, and dramatic cliffs. In Dovedale, limestone formations rise sharply from the Green Valley floor. And the famous stepping stones invite us to cross the river with a playful leap. Adventurers will find thrill in the jagged gorges of Castleton, where caverns and caves offer explorations deep into the earth and the moorlands stretch out in wild beauty. Both districts offer moments of quiet reflection and exhilarating challenges, each trail and summit revealing a new perspective on the English countryside. From the Lake District's mirror-like waters to the wild peaks of Derbyshire, this journey is a reminder of the natural beauty that thrives just beyond the city. From the peaceful lakes and rugged peaks of the north, we journey southwest to the windswept shores of Cornwall, a place where land meets sea in dramatic fashion. Cornwall's coastline is a paradise of golden beaches, hidden coves, and towering cliffs, offering an entirely new side of England's natural beauty. St. Ives is our first stop, a charming seaside town known for its vibrant art scene, narrow winding streets, and crystal clear waters. Here, fish and boats bob in the harbor, and local artists showcase their work in galleries that line the cobbled lanes. The beach is perfect for a quiet stroll or a day in the sun, with waves that invite surfers and swimmers alike. Venturing farther along the coast, 
we find Land's End, the very tip of mainland England. The cliffs here rise high above the Atlantic Ocean, their rugged edges carved by centuries of wind and waves. Standing at Land's End, with the vast sea stretching endlessly before us, there's a sense of awe, an awareness of being at the edge of the world. Cornwall is also home to mysterious ancient sites like Tintagel Castle, legendary birthplace of King Arthur. Perched on a rocky headland, the castle ruins offer sweeping views over the ocean, blending myth with dramatic scenery. And then, of course, there's the food. Cornwall is famous for its Cornish pasties, a savory treat that's perfect after a day by the sea. From freshly caught seafood to indulgent cream teas, the flavors of Cornwall are as rich and inviting as its landscapes. In Cornwall, nature is bold and raw, with scenes of crashing waves, endless horizons, and the warm glow of seaside towns. This coastal escape is a world of its own, a stunning contrast to the quiet lakes and towering fells we left behind. Leaving behind Cornwall's sunlit shores, we journey north to the storied streets and ancient hills of Edinburgh, where Scotland's rich history meets a landscape that's both rugged and enchanting. Here, in the heart of the Scottish lowlands, the cityscape of Edinburgh offers a striking contrast to the warm coastlines of England's southwest. Towering over the city is Edinburgh Castle, a fortress that has watched over Scotland's capital for centuries. Perched atop Castle Rock, it commands breathtaking views over the city and beyond. This ancient stronghold is packed with tales of battles and royalty. Within its walls lie the Scottish crown jewels and the legendary Stone of Destiny, symbols of Scotland's turbulent and proud past. From the castle, we descend along the Royal Mile, the bustling thoroughfare that stretches down to Holyrood Palace, the Queen's official residence in Scotland. Along this cobbled street, we encounter a tapestry of historic buildings, cozy pubs, and traditional shops, each adding a unique layer to Edinburgh's character. It's a place where medieval architecture meets modern life, a blend of tradition and vibrancy. Beyond the city streets, nature calls us to Arthur's seat, an ancient volcanic peak rising just on the edge of Edinburgh. A hike to the summit rewards us with panoramic views over the city's spires, the Firth of Forth, and the hills beyond. Standing here, with Edinburgh spread out below, we feel the spirit of Scotland in both its urban beauty and wild landscape. In Edinburgh, every corner is steeped in history, yet alive with the energy of a modern city. From the commanding heights of its castle to the lively streets of the Royal Mile and the windswept summit of Arthur's Seat, this city is a blend of urban culture and natural beauty, a world away from the seaside calm of Cornwall. From the historic streets of Edinburgh, we head south to England's sunny coastline and lush countryside. Here, 
seaside charm, ancient woodlands, and natural wonders blend to create a region as diverse as it is picturesque. Our journey begins in Brighton, a lively beach town known for its colorful energy and famous pier. Here, arcades, cafes, and vibrant street art line the streets, creating a fun and eclectic atmosphere. The Brighton Pier, with its classic fairground rides and endless sea views, invites us to embrace the spirit of a true British seaside holiday. Traveling along the coast, we come to Dirtle Door, a natural limestone arch that stands as a stunning gateway to the sea. Carved over millennia by wind and waves, this iconic rock formation is one of England's most photographed landmarks. The nearby beaches are perfect for a quiet day by the water, with turquoise waves lapping against the rugged cliffs. Just inland, we find the peaceful beauty of the new forest. This ancient woodland, with its roaming wild ponies, tranquil glades, and dappled sunlight, feels like a step back in time. Walking or cycling through the forest trails, we're surrounded by the earthy scents of pine and moss, a refreshing escape from the coastal bustle. From the forest, we venture to Bath, a city of timeless elegance. Known for its beautifully preserved Georgian architecture, Bath's crowning jewel is the Roman Baths, natural hot springs that have drawn visitors for over 2,000 years. This spa city invites us to relax and marvel at the grandeur of a bygone era a perfect blend of history and luxury. Our final stop in the region is Cheddar Gorge, a striking limestone ravine with sheer cliffs and hidden caves. This rugged landscape, with its towering rock walls and dramatic views, offers a sense of wild adventure. It's a place for hikers, climbers, and anyone drawn to the raw beauty of the natural world. In this journey along the south coast, we experience a rich variety, from the lively beaches of Brighton to the tranquil woods of the New Forest, the refined charm of Bath, and the rugged cliffs of Cheddar Gorge. Each destination brings a new layer to the region's charm, a vibrant contrast to the historic landscapes of Scotland we left behind. Leaving behind the gentle shores of England's south coast, we travel north once more to Scotland's wild and remote highlands and isles. Here, the landscapes are raw and untamed, shaped by ancient forces and alive with myth and mystery. This is Scotland at its most majestic, a place where nature reigns supreme and history whispers from every stone. Our journey begins on the Isle of Skye, a land of dramatic cliffs, winding roads, and towering mountains. The Old Man of Stor rises against the sky, its jagged rock formations shaped by millennia of wind and rain. Down below, the fairy pools beckon with their crystal clear waters, cascading through rocky pools in shades of turquoise and green. This otherworldly landscape feels like a scene from a myth, where every peak and valley holds a story Farther north, we reach the Orkney Islands, 
an archipelago where history and rugged landscapes meet in striking harmony. One of Orkney's greatest mysteries is the Ring of Brodgar, a massive stone circle from the Neolithic era, its ancient stones standing silently in witness to long-forgotten rituals. This site, one of Europe's best preserved, is steeped in myth and mystery. Off the coast, the wreck of the Juniata lies beneath the waves, a haunting reminder of Orkney's maritime history. This American steamer, which sank in 1939, now rests on the seabed, attracting divers who explore its rusted remains and the marine life that has made it home. Finally, we reach the towering Old Man of Hoy, a 450-foot sea stack that rises boldly from the sea. This iconic natural landmark is a symbol of Orkney's wild, untamed beauty, drawing climbers and photographers to capture its dramatic form against the ocean horizon. Continuing north, we arrive in the Shetland Islands, where the legacy of the Vikings still lingers and nature feels raw and untamed. These rugged, windswept islands, perched at the edge of the world, are home to dramatic cliffs that drop into the North Sea and coastal paths that stretch endlessly toward the horizon. Among Shetland's most charming residents are the Shetland ponies, small, hardy horses with thick coats and a playful spirit. These iconic ponies roam freely across the islands, perfectly adapted to the challenging northern climate. Joining them are the Highland cows, known for their long, shaggy coats and curved horns grazing peacefully on the open hills. Together, these animals add a unique warmth to Shetland's wild landscape, embodying the rugged beauty and resilience of island life. Scotland's highlands and isles offer a breathtaking contrast to the softer landscapes of southern England. In these remote reaches, we find Scotland in its purest form, a land of enduring beauty and deep-rooted legends. Leaving behind the rugged wilds of Scotland's highlands and isles, we journey south to the historic heart of England. Here, timeless villages, ancient monuments, and stately castles await, each one nestled within the peaceful countryside. This is a landscape of storybook charm and deep-rooted history, a soothing contrast to Scotland's untamed beauty. Our first stop is Stonehenge, one of the world's most enigmatic ancient sites. These massive stones, arranged in a perfect circle on the Salisbury Plain, have stood for over 4,000 years. Theories of its origins range from astronomical observatory to ceremonial site, and as the sun rises over the stone circle, there's an unmistakable sense of awe, a reminder of England's distant, mysterious past. From ancient stones, we move to Windsor Castle, the oldest and largest inhabited castle in the world, and a royal residence for nearly a thousand years. This majestic fortress, surrounded by manicured gardens and sprawling parkland, remains a living symbol of Britain's monarchy. Walking through the castle's grand halls and stately rooms, we can feel the layers of history embedded within its walls. A journey 
through the lives of kings, queens, and centuries of tradition. Continuing through the countryside, we find ourselves in the Cotswolds, a region where quaint villages and rolling hills capture the essence of rural England. Honey-colored cottages with thatched roofs line the cobbled streets of villages like Bibbury and Borton on the Water. Flower-filled gardens, quiet country lanes, and gentle rivers make this a landscape out of a fairy tale where time seems to stand still. This historic English countryside with its blend of ancient mysteries, royal grandeur, and charming villages, is England at its most quintessential. This journey takes us through the soul of England, a place of quiet elegance and stories that stretch back through the ages. Leaving behind the tranquil charm of England's historic countryside, we venture westward into the wild and adventurous landscapes of Wales. This is a land of rugged mountains, ancient myths, and dramatic coastlines, where every horizon promises a new discovery. In Wales, nature feels untamed and grand, offering a thrilling contrast to the gentle scenery of the English countryside. Our journey begins in Snowdonia National Park, where snow-capped peaks and vast valleys create a landscape that's both breathtaking and formidable. At the heart of this region stands Mount Snowdon, the highest mountain in Wales. Whether hiking to the summit or taking the scenic mountain railway, the views from the top are nothing short of spectacular. Sweeping panoramas stretch across the Irish Sea on one side and the rugged Welsh countryside on the other, a reward for anyone willing to conquer this iconic peak. From the heights of Snowdonia, we travel to the stunning Pembrokeshire coast, a stretch of coastline famed for its cliffs, sandy beaches, and hidden coves. The Pembrokeshire coast path winds along dramatic cliffs and through small fishing villages with views of the endless Atlantic Ocean. Sea stacks and rock formations line the coast, making this an ideal destination for adventurers kayakers, and anyone drawn to the raw beauty of the sea. Our final stop in Wales takes us to the mystical Isle of Anglesey, where history and nature intertwine. Here, ancient sites like Porth Wen, with its hauntingly beautiful abandoned brickworks, offer a unique glimpse into the island's industrial past. Anglesey's windswept beaches and coastal paths are perfect for exploring, with lighthouses perched on cliffs and sweeping views across the Irish Sea. The island's deep connections to Welsh legend and folklore only add to its mysterious allure, making Anglesey a place where the echoes of history seem to linger in the salt air. From the towering peaks of Snowdonia to the wild shores of Pembrokeshire, Wales is a land of adventure and beauty, a place where nature's power and mystery unfold at every turn. From the rugged beauty of Wales, we cross the Irish Sea to the enchanting landscapes of Northern Ireland. Here, coastal cliffs and ancient forests meet bustling city life, offering a journey as rich in contrast as it is in beauty. We begin in Belfast, 
Northern Ireland's capital, and a city shaped by its maritime heritage. At the Titanic Belfast Museum, we step back in time to explore the story of the world's most famous ship, built right here on Belfast's docks. This award-winning museum offers a glimpse into the city's past as a major shipbuilding center, and its innovative exhibits capture the grandeur and tragedy of the Titanic's legacy. Today, Belfast is alive with energy, filled with art, music, and a warm, welcoming spirit that reflects its resilience and pride. Leaving the city behind, we journey into the countryside to experience one of Northern Ireland's most iconic and hauntingly beautiful locations, the Dark Hedges. This avenue of twisted beech trees, their branches arching overhead to form a natural tunnel, is as mysterious as it is magical. Made famous as a filming location in Game of Thrones, the dark hedges feels like stepping into another world where shadows dance and the trees seem to whisper the secrets of centuries past. The Giant's Causeway is one of Northern Ireland's most iconic natural wonders, a coastline of over 40,000 interlocking basalt columns formed by ancient volcanic activity. Rising dramatically from the sea, these hexagonal pillars create a surreal landscape that has inspired awe and legend for centuries. According to local folklore, the causeway was built by the Irish giant Finn McCool to cross the sea and challenge his Scottish rival. Today, visitors can walk across the stones marveling at the unique formations and taking in sweeping views of the North Atlantic. The blend of geological wonder and myth makes the Giant's Causeway a place that feels both ancient and enchanting. Northern Ireland captures the spirit of history and mystery, where vibrant culture meets breathtaking landscapes. As our journey across the United Kingdom nears its end, we arrive at England's northern coast, a region where history and legend are woven into the very landscape. Here in Northumberland and along the northern English coast, ancient walls and dramatic cliffs mark the final chapter of our travels, a place of enduring beauty and mystery. Our first stop is Hadrian's Wall, a remarkable remnant of Roman Britain stretching 73 miles across the northern frontier. Built nearly 2,000 years ago to defend the Roman Empire, this ancient wall cuts across rolling hills and rugged moorlands. Walking along Hadrian's Wall with views stretching into the distance we can almost feel the weight of history underfoot. A reminder of a time when this land marked the edge of a vast empire. Roman forts like Housesteads offer glimpses into life on the frontier, where soldiers once stood guard against the unknown. From the heights of Hadrian's Wall, we travel east to the seaside town of Whitby, where history meets legend on the edge of the North Sea. Perched on a cliff overlooking the harbor, Whitby Abbey stands as a Gothic masterpiece, its stone arches silhouetted against the sky. The Abbey's haunting beauty and windswept surroundings inspired tales of Dracula and countless other myths. As we climb the famous 199 steps to reach the Abbey, we're met with views over the town in the vast, restless sea, a scene both dramatic and timeless. 
And here, with the whispers of ancient Romans and the shadows of Gothic ruins, we end our journey in a land where history and myth still linger, leaving us with memories of a place as beautiful and diverse as its stories. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you want free travel guides delivered straight to your inbox, scan the QR code on screen now. Thanks for watching. See you next time for another world tour.